After three and a half years, Roman Reigns has finally been pinned by Jey Uso at Money in the Bank earlier today. So why did WWE book this? Well, here's the real reason why Jey Uso was the one to finally pin Roman Reigns. The first reason is that the WWE needed to complete this storyline. When it comes to the Bloodline, the writing team is making sure to finish everyone's story. The first story they had to finish started with Sami Zayn. His story was to implode the Bloodline. He never wanted to become the champion or defeat Roman Reigns. Of course, that was a side mission, but the main mission was to implode and destroy the Bloodline. And it was to have the Usos realize that Roman Reigns was a selfish human who doesn't care about his family. In fact, he cares about no one. It's all about himself. He accomplished this at night of champions when Jimmy Uso super kicked Roman Reigns and turned on him and then Jimmy quickly convinced his brother to do the same. As for Jay Uso, his story started in 2020. Roman Reigns always told him that he could never beat him. At Clash of Champions and Hell in a Cell in 2020, Roman Reigns destroyed Jay Uso, proving himself right. Roman Reigns immensely destroyed Jay Uso so much so that he became submissive and joined Roman Reigns, creating the bloodline, using him for dirty work. Over the last few years, Jey Uso was mentally trapped in this prison because he truly believed that he could never beat Roman Reigns. He believed that Roman was always better than him. Well, that changed tonight. We found out that Jey Uso is in fact better than Roman Reigns. He was the first man to pin him in years. The WWE is not going to give him the world championship. That's not going to happen. But they will give him that win that he was looking to get from three years ago. And that is the first reason. The other reason is that WWE is telling the story that Roman Reigns isn't much without his family. Don't get me wrong, Roman Reigns is still a top tier superstar, top three in the wrestling business, I would say number one. But to stay on top for so long is a difficult task for anyone. It takes a team, and in this case, a family. The Bloodline was the engine that kept Roman running, and without them, we are starting to see the cracks form. Without the Usos, it's not looking good for Roman Reigns, and he's looking very vulnerable. This is a story they've been telling since WrestleMania 39, when he needed Solo Sokoa to help him defeat Cody Rhodes in that big time match. It is only a matter of time before Solo finally sees the truth and also leaves him as well. When that happens, Roman Reigns will have no one, and when he has no one, he will be beaten for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And that man is most likely going to be a man with a strong family behind him. It's looking like Cody Rhodes is still going to be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. And like I said, it started with Sami Zayn imploding the bloodline. Jimmy Uso turning on Roman Reigns. Jay Uso finally pinning him for the first time in nearly four years. And the last two chapters are Solo Sokoa leaving. And it will ultimately end with Cody Rhodes holding the WWE title high in the air. Anyways, that is the real reason why Jey Uso pinned Roman Reigns. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.